Hello and Merry Christmas. It's Monday, December 28th. I'm Pastor Ann Fenlison from Trinity Lutheran Church in Long Lake, Minnesota. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas Eve and day. And we are still in the season of Christmas. We've got 12 days of that. It runs through January 5th. Uh, technically, the wise men are still on their journey to see Jesus following that star. But for today's devotion with you, I want to revisit the night of Jesus' birth. Uh, and the part in the devotion where uh, the shepherds are visited in the field, uh, first by one angel and then by a whole heavenly host, which actually means an army. Let me read that for you. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. I love that angelic announcement by this army of angels. And I wonder what it looked like, what it sounded like, what those shepherds felt aside from their initial terror. But in that message, we get this uh, praise, but there's also a promise of peace, of God's peace and not the peace of the day, which was the Roman peace, also known as the Pax Romana. And the Pax Romana was not at all the same kind of peace God gives. So this peace that the angels are talking about, who is this peace for? And the angels say, well, it's peace among those whom God favors. So what does that mean uh, to be favored by God? So in Luke's gospel, this term was used when the angel Gabriel went to visit Mary to tell her she was going to give birth to God's son. And then later, Mary also claims that term favored for herself in her song of praise, which we uh, call the Magnificat. So, and it appears a couple other places in Luke as well, but favor, that word favor in these instances in Luke should not be confused with material abundance a windfall or power or even chance a favor actually is the abundance of god's grace in everyday life the abundance of god's grace in everyday life favor is uh, perhaps even best thought of as the ordinary gifts of god that move us to loving and serving not only god but also our neighbor so how did this night change the shepherds? How were they changed by seeing and hearing this army of angels in the heavens? By going to see the newborn babe in a stable, lying in a manger? Let me read the last bit of this. When the angels had left them, the shepherds, and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. And when they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. What did the shepherds do? Why, the shepherds bore witness to Christ, which is uh, what Jesus one day will tell his followers to do. And this is what we are called to do. It's Monday, let me pray. Gracious God, thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus, and uh, for all that this brings to our lives, for the favor your abundant and ordinary grace that we find in every single day. Help us to bear witness to who you are, Lord, and uh, 
be uh, your, your son to others in, that we encounter in the course of our everyday lives. We give thanks for this uh, time of year and also for all that you have given us. In your name we pray. Amen. Folks, go out and bear witness to Christ. Go out and be Jesus to everyone you meet. Our witness to Christ, who Christ is, will look different depending on who we are. Isn't that wonderful? We have our individuality and we all have a different way of bearing witness to Christ. A kind word, an acknowledgement of someone that you might otherwise have looked past. Favor, remember, is the abundance of God's grace in everyday life. So go out today and live into that abundant grace. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Merry Christmas.